Imagine a scenario in which you can fly or have a conversation with your hero. My name is Sam Mearswell and today I will be discussing the topic of lucid dreams. Lucid dreams is a very unique dreaming experience. It is unique in the fact that the dreamer has complete control of whatever he is dreaming. The only thing that can hold back a lucid dream is the own dreamer's imagination. Throughout the speech, I will be discussing what exactly lucid dreams are, the benefits of lucid dreams, and the steps people can take to get a lucid dream. The first topic I will be discussing is what exactly lucid dreams are. According to the book, Mastering the World of Psychology by Samuel and Ellen Wood and Denise Boyd, most dreams occur during REM sleep and they are the most vivid and emotional dreams a person can receive. On an average sleep night, there are about five cycles of REM sleep and about two dreams a cycle. So that means we get about 10 dreams a night. During REM sleep, our body releases the hormone epinephrine, which causes our brain to become very active. The, the part in our brain that, that, can, that allows us to dream is called the primary visual cortex. During REM sleep, the part of our brain called the prefrontal cortex actually is suppressed, and that is our um, that is the part of our brain that is rational thought. Uh, so our brains are not able to to perceive that what is what is real or what is not. In fact, almost every single adult will uh, will experience a lucid dream in their lifetime, but it is by accident. The second topic I will be discussing is the benefits that lucid dreams have. Lucid dreams has a variety of benefits that are associated with them. According to Rebecca Turner, founder and editor of a well-known lucid dream website called World of Lucid Dreaming, lucid dreams can help people overcome their fears and phobias. Let's say a person is afraid of heights. Inside of a dream, what is stopping this person from jumping off a plane or leaping off a cliff? Real life, uh, real life rules do not apply to dreams. Inside of a dream, people can face their fears head on without any fears or hesitation. Another benefit to lucid dreaming is becoming more creative. The whole point of a lucid dream is trying to expand your dream life because of your imagination. Being in an environment such as lucid dreams can, can inspire anyone's imaginative process. Another benefit to lucid dreams would be, would, be the, um, would be the practice of real life skills. Skills that you use every day on an everyday basis. Azim Goryashi, author of many popular scientific journals and the author of Rev Up Your REM, states that, states that lucid dreams can help with anxiety and depression and also can increase your productivity. The third topic I'll be discussing is the steps people take in order to get a lucid dream. According to Rebecca Turner, planning your dreams ahead is one of the most important things you can do. The majority of consistent lucid dreamers have mapped out their entire dream plot ahead of time. The second, uh, the second step people can take is going directly back to sleep after you wake up from a dream. This will increase the chance of becoming conscious in the dream if you re-enter when you fall back to sleep. The third step is keeping a dream journal. Keeping a dream journal can help you remember your dreams better. And the last step is doing reality checks throughout the day. Reality checks include checking your watch or pinching yourself or asking yourself, am I dreaming throughout the day? Will actually increase the chance that it will occur during the dream, therefore making you aware that you are actually dreaming. Throughout the speech, I have explained what lucid dreaming is, the benefits of lucid dreams, such as being able to face your fears and phobias, and steps people can take to get a lucid dream, like like performing reality checks throughout the day. The amazing thing about lucid dreams is that anyone can experience a lucid dream with the right amount of practice and preparation.